past couple of weeks I've been in and out of the hospital. Can't make videos from there. Actually, I guess I could, but what the fuck. I don't think you guys are gonna wanna watch me laying in bed with a fucking gown on, my ass hanging out and shit. Who knows? Maybe you would. You freaking weirdos. Hospitals are like hotels to me. You have to try to pick the best one. I mean, you go to a shitty hotel, you end up leaving with bed bugs and shit. With hospitals, it can mean the difference between having your limb cut the fuck off to, you know, keeping it attached. Uh, but anyways, Total Biscuit died, and I have been bummed out about it. But I have been more bummed out about how nasty and disgusting people can be on the internet. I have had enemies in my lifetime. Never. Never, my worst enemy, never would I celebrate their fucking death. It's one thing to be indifferent about something or just don't give a shit. Don't care. To go out there celebrating, talking shit and all this other stuff when somebody just died. Bodies aren't even cold yet. That is some fucked up shit. And I don't think some people realize how precious life is and how easily it could be you that's going in a casket and getting buried six feet under. If you're getting that desensitized to everything, losing more and more of your humanity with each passing day, I think it's time to take a break, man. Step away from the keyboard, put your cell phone away, and take a walk outside. Let's talk about E3. Fallout. That new Fallout game, I knew it was going to be an online experience. You can't sell microtransactions if you don't have an online video game. I think a lot of people are aware that these microtransactions make these companies a lot of money, but I think some people don't realize just how much. A fucking shit ton. A lot of peeps don't realize Fortnite was something completely different once upon a time. I made some videos talking about some of the shady shit that they were pulling because they weren't doing so hot. Things like selling their game on outlets such as Amazon, failing to mention that you're buying into an alpha, aka a not finished, not complete product. In any event, it wasn't doing so hot, not selling so well. They took a look at PUBG and said, holy shit, maybe, last ditch effort, let's try to cash in on that. And the motherfucker blew up, man. Last thing I gotta say about this is that I think they need to start considering introducing some sort of a law for our protection because these betas, these alphas are getting out of control, man. It seems like anything and everything is starting to come out in an alpha state. They're just slapping alpha or beta on everything from games to websites. Companies are using alpha and beta to shield them from critique, to make it harder for consumers like us to complain. What makes this even crazier is that once upon a time, these companies, many of these companies had to actually spend money to incentivize people to beta and alpha test their shit. I wake up one day and now we're paying them. They figured out a way for us to pick up the tab. It's crazy. You want to talk pros and cons? Other than getting early access, okay, to usually a game that's pretty empty, not much going on in it because it's not finished. Other than that, there are absolutely no benefits for the consumer. In fact, it's one of the most anti-consumer business models I have ever seen. It's a really shitty thing when you think about it. These companies are essentially taxing their most loyal fans because they're the most likely to cough up the cash to play a game early. These companies create a tremendous amount of hype and then they go and leverage it against their most loyal fans and customers. Isn't that a wonderful way to do business? So it's fair to say I'm not a big fan of these deluxe editions that include early access. It's usually three or four days early access or whatever. You know, and it's not that great of a thing if there's going to be a multiplayer component because now you got these cocksuckers getting a head start on you because you're not an idiot and you're not willing to pay an extra $20, $30 to play the same exact game a couple of days early. Now, I must admit, I'm an idiot myself. I did it for Forza Horizons 3, and I feel like a shitbag. I'm ashamed. I felt dirty. I needed to take a shower. 
And then, of course, when the game actually does come out a couple of days later, I felt like punching myself in the face for being such a fucking idiot. I actually spent, I think, a hundred and something dollars just to play it a couple of days early. This shit's like crack, man. I hate when people say, oh, it's just business, man. What the fuck does that even mean? What are you going to tell me next? The sky's blue, water's wet. I mean, seriously, if you're going to open your mouth, at least add something to the conversation. I did a survey today. And in that survey, it asked me what I was the most anticipated about when it comes to video games. On that list was SOCOM. Now look, I would say that doesn't mean shit, okay? But everything else on that list was pretty much confirmed at this point. Rage 2, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, or whatever it's called. So I'm assuming there is a new SOCOM in the works. Now let's get crazy for a second. If a new Splinter Cell and SOCOM comes out in the year 2018, I will be a happy Yamizo because I enjoy those two franchises. Let's just say that. I'm also looking forward to hearing anything about a new XCOM. My most anticipated first person shooter that's coming out in the year 2018 gotta be Metro Exodus. I'm also very excited, if you couldn't tell by my voice, to see and hear more about the new cyberpunk game as well as Death Stranding. For the love of God, I hope Anthem ends up being solid, but it's an EA endeavor. And I'm certain they're going to sabotage it somehow. Makes me nauseous. Sick to my stomach thinking about it. I'm not just hoping it's going to be good for the sake of filling my cravings for a good, solid, science fiction, exploration, third person shooting, looting game. But also because I'm hoping fill the black fucking hole, the black abyss that the last Mass Effect has left in me. So before I go, I just wanted to quickly say now that I have more time to dedicate towards making videos they should be better anyways i hope you guys are staying out of trouble staying safe just like everyone else and their mother i will be doing some e3 stuff so hopefully you're around to see it hope you have a good one i'll see you around